Hi, I'm DK Will, and this is DK Will Talk About It. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, XRP today, just a brief video to give all those in the XRP army who stumbled across my videos a reason to hodl strong. Um, we know there's a lot of market activity going on that's negative to those who are maybe new at this and don't know better. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll be more encouraged to hold on strong and wait for that impending bounce and hyper bull run that I think is going to happen here soon and make a lot of people very, very happy. So let's get her going. And if the mic does sound right, let's take a look here from this Forbes article. As you can see, it's dated September 20. And it says that the Dow plunges 600 points to the lowest level in two months as experts, experts fear Great Recession-style collapse with Evergrande. And it goes on to say stump, stocks tumble to their lowest level in months Monday after Chinese real estate giant Evergrande warned it's struggling to raise cash needed to make interest payments this week sparking a widespread global sell-off and fueling concerns of the potentially systemic risks that could arise if the world's most indebted property developer starts defaulting on its massive three hundred billion dollar debt obligations sounds like a liquidity crisis does it not it goes on to say key facts led by losses in jp morgan goldman sachs equipment maker caterpillar the Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged 615 points. Meanwhile, the S&P and tech-heavy Nasdaq fell 1.7 and 2.2% respectively. That's compared to the 1.8% for the Dow Jones. Okay, so we can see this is having some negative effect. The bad news just keeps coming, says uh, financial Ryan Detrick pointing out the company suspended trading of its onshore corporate bonds on Sunday, that's Evergrande being the company, after credit analysts warned against investing in them. Definitely a little bit of a crisis. The development takes Evergrande one step closer to restructuring or default, Dietrich adds, noting some analysts are concerned a default could be the first domino to fall, sparking systemic risks similar to when Investment bank Lehman Brothers went under 13, interesting number, years ago at the outset, onset, excuse me, of the Great Recession. And then, though many Asian markets were closed for the holidays, Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index suffered large losses, dropping 3.3% to its lowest point of the year. Oh bad news and we know just what happened at Lehman Brothers in 2008 the bank bailouts if you'll recall a liquidity crisis for Evergrande seems to be translating into a liquidity crisis for the world however for those of us with XRP it says how China's property market could trigger a crypto crash again another article dated today the 20th and as you can see here, if I can get this thing to behave, there we go. I never got through it looking through that, huh? Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were crashing Monday amid a global sell-off and risk assessments. The tumble appears to have been triggered by the mounting problems at embattled property giant China Evergrande Group. It goes on to show that Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency, was off 7% Monday. Ethereum, the second largest, was down 8%. Smaller coins were also posting declines, including Cardano, Binance, XRP, Solano, and Polkadot. The latter off 13%. Those percentages are bigger than the ones we saw for the other markets, are they not? And so crypto is suffering, and if you took a look at the crypto markets, Today's market cap, you can see over here, the charts. Like I say, there's enough people doing technical analysis and there's enough people doing fundamentals. I'm here to give more perspective assistance, I think, on the XRP situation. 
and hopefully it helps but you can see it's a red day now those of us who are savvy know that a red is good in the sense of opportunities to buy if you believe that there's going to be a bounce and that is why I'm doing this video I want to give everyone good cause to believe that there's going to be a bounce because the solution to a lot of these liquidity problems that are having it's already in place it's already in place and where does it start it starts here at Nostra Vosto accounts okay this article is to tell you what's the difference but this is just my way of showing what they are there are two different terms used to describe the same bank account. The terms are used when one bank has another bank's money on deposit, typically in relation to international trading or other financial transactions. Nostro Vosto. The Nostro Vosto are variations of the Latin words meaning ours and yours, respectively. Modern retail banking is derived from 13th and 14th century Italy where both depositors and retail banks maintain ledgers of their account balances. The ledger kept by depositing customer, by the depositing customer called it a nostril ledger. The bank kept the corresponding vostro ledger. Okay, so why do I say that's the solution is already here to this liquidity crisis? So I'll tell you why. I'm going to show you why. Because I believe that they are creating the narrative to give an explanation, a reason to believe in exactly what the XRP Army has already believed, some of us for years, that XRP is the one. And as far as these Nostro Vostro accounts go, take a look at this. Now this is old. This is 2018 February. You see that there? But look at the Nostro Vostro account balances. Every square is $100 billion of money just sitting there three years ago to the tune of $27 trillion sitting idle in foreign bank accounts. Nostro Vostro. So it seems to me, if you look at some of these other examples to the side, there's XRP when they were only $30 billion. It seems to me that if you can unlock this money, see SWIFT here? SWIFT only has $5 trillion per day. But if you can unlock this money, wouldn't that be the solution to the problem? I would think so. Does Evergrande have any money in Nostro Vosser accounts? If they're international, guess what the answer is? Yes. Quick answer to the guess. The answer is yes. The answer is already in place. Free working capital with on demand liquidity. The narrative has begun, folks. And I hope that this situation did not scare anybody out of their XRP. Because XRP is the answer to freeing up that capital that's sitting there in the banks with the on-demand liquidity service. And we, who are in the XRP Army, already own it. And they are more and more making it more difficult to get I believe it's going to stay difficult to get. And I also believe that they're going to push towards more you'll be able to sell it than you'll be able to buy it. So get on that boat now if you're not on it. And if you are on it, hold on strong. Because the answer to freeing up that working capital and those Nostro Volster accounts is already there. And all it takes is the transition over for this $27 trillion to solve Evergrande's problem and everybody's problem. That's it for this video. I want to thank you for stopping by. I'm DK Will. This is DK Will Talk About It. Let's see if I can go out the way I came in. Go over here. There we go. Have a wonderful day.